Hi, and welcome back to the WGNO Sports Page. Incredible eyesight and an attitude of invincibility, all part of the mystique of the Hawk. When he and the hunter work together, the combination is memorable. Don DeBute, the photographer Scott Bell, thought so too, and went along for quite an experience. Their eyes are five times stronger than man's eyes. Oh, they can see a, a mouse right over 600 feet. They can see a rabbit over a mile away if they saw him. Oh, Spike. Here, my little Jack Russell Terrier, and she's a good little hunter. She's ready to go. She's a good little hunter. Come on, get him up. Come on, Spike. It's all natural, you know. You don't have no guns or you're just going out there and doing what comes natural, you know. And I did these beautiful birds. I always did like birds of prey when I was real small. I just, uh, I just enjoyed. A hunting trip with Todd to George is a journey to an earlier time. Back to an era before firearms, when hunting was the joint effort of a man, his tracking dog, and a bird of prey. You see, DeGeorge is a general falconer. His hunting partners, a Jack Russell Terrier called Spike, and a red-tailed hawk, appropriately named Medusa. Come on, Spike, over here! Come here! Come on, come on. We catch mostly rabbits, and they, they also catch squirrels. We call it, uh... I caught 60 rabbits last year and about 8 squirrels. It's a pretty simple procedure. The raptor is launched to a lofty vantage point where it uses its powerful eyesight to lock in on game flushed by dogs and hunters yeah. below. She's way above us. Okay. Just keep your eyes. If she goes down, she's going to crack, you know. So you have no warning when she's going to do that. No. I, just, I, right I keep my eye on the bird. Quite right here. Okay, get him up, girl. Come on. Let's go. Now before you go out and decide to trap your own bird like Butch, this Harris Hawk, there's a couple things you need to know. These are federally protected birds, and there's both state and federal permits you'll need to get first. There's also a 100-question Department of Wildlife and Fisheries test, as well as an on-site pen inspection to pass before serving a two-year apprenticeship. Wade Gilbo says he's learned a lot about training raptors, the most important lesson being that while a bird of prey can be man's hunting partner, it always remains free. She always responds to food. It's a fact of life that this bird will always respond to food, nothing else. And you can never domesticate them. If I, if I feed her and get her full, she'll just leave me. She'll never come back. Get him up, Spike! Over. Right there in front of us, and y'all saw it. She caught it. Sometimes you gotta work real hard, but every now and then you get one. Yeah, you did good. Good girl. All right. For WGNO Sports Page, I'm Don Dubuque. There you go. Outdoors with Don Dubuque. Your brought to you by Doug Harris Ford Lincoln Mercury. Sure, on that one.